An update right now first at 10 to a story we brought you back in December. The homicide of a woman in Plymouth. Good evening. I'm Aaron Leedy and I'm Ann Lurie. Today the victim's son was charged with her death. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar was in the courtroom today and has reaction from the prosecutors. Thursday morning, 36 year old Elliot Steed appeared in front of Judge Donald Whitaker and Nanny Coke charged with killing his mother. Pennsylvania State Police and the Luzerne County DA's office charged Steed with one count of criminal homicide and one count of theft. Anne Marie Murphy's son, Darrell Steed, reported the 66 year old as unresponsive and that her car was missing on December 20th of 2023. Local police went to the scene, found her in an upstairs in a bathroom upstairs, and uh, that began the investigation. After an autopsy discovered multiple stab wounds and blunt force trauma to the head, Murphy's death was ruled a homicide. According to court documents, after Steed allegedly killed his mother, he took her vehicle and drove to a hospital in Flemington, New Jersey. Steed had made claims that he was dying and that his family was trying to kill him. Raritan Township police apprehended him after learning about a warrant for his arrest, alleging he threatened his girlfriend inside their home the day before. First District Attorney Tony Ross states it's still unclear what a motive would be. Right now, we really don't have a motive. Uh, case is still being investigated. Uh, the defendant has made some statements, so we're looking at those statements. The investigation continues, but right now he's charged with an open count of homicide. Ross says the investigation will continue. He's given some statements. Uh, candidly, we're looking at those statements. They don't make much sense, so we're continuing the investigation. Judge Whitaker set a preliminary hearing on March 27th at 10 a.m. for Steed at the Luzerne County Courthouse. In Plymouth Borough, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first at 10. Steed was denied bail on the homicide charge and was sent back to the Luzerne County Correctional Facility.